Welcome back to another episode of Cashflow with JVH. Today we're going to be going over barchart.com and some of the options and screeners that they have available for a uh, premium membership. A lot of you have asked for this, so let's dive right in. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel, share my channel out with all of your friends on your social media networks, and let's get started. Okay, so I really appreciate everybody who has been watching my videos. I've had a lot of great interactions. People have joined my Discord group, and they've been asking me basically, hey, do you have any recommendations for a good options screener or stocks screener? And so I've been posting about barchart.com, and somebody had asked me specifically to put a video out of some of the capabilities that barchart.com offers for a paid membership. Now, this paid membership is about $200 a year, which actually compared to other screeners and some of the things that uh, other paid sites offer, I think this is pretty good. Um, so let's dive in and, and let's get started to see what options are available for barchart.com. Okay, so here we can see uh, just I've already logged into barchart.com. And as you can see, there's all kinds of information, news, great information on the website. Again, some of this is available for a free uh, a free membership, uh, but if you want to pay for the upgrade, you get access to a lot of the great information and data that's available as well. Uh, they have great information as it relates to um, getting quotes on the current stock prices. Basically, a lot of the general information that you know YouTube, I'm sorry, not YouTube, Robinhood users would have access to. However, uh, it gives you a little bit more information than Robinhood gives you even if you pay for the Robinhood gold um, option. So you can see it has different technical opinions. Uh, you can take a look at the individual uh, stock dividends that have been paid out. You have all the fundamental information that you typically are looking for to understand whether it's a buy, whether it's a sell. And then also you have a an aggregation of all the latest stories where that specific stock is mentioned uh, or called out specifically about the company news, things of that nature. Also, um, you have information where you have uh, the ability to look at different uh, screeners. Now, a screener is basically a way for you to analyze stock um, stock data as far as what you're looking for if you have different filters on how you decide whether you want to buy or sell you have different uh, available options for that so specifically what I was asked about is the option screener so here we have and again this is something that is only available to paid members we have what we call they call an option screener now they also understand all of the other, uh, you know, more common strategies uh, like debit spreads, credit spreads. Uh, if you wanted to do any straddles or strangles, and then they also have screeners built in for butterflies, iron condors, uh, and other some and other some um, other basic strategies that you may want to implement or already have implemented. Um, so, <clears throat> for example. Uh, I recently released a video on iron condors. Um, now this is this is a screener that I've used before that comes from barchart.com, but I've made a few adjustments to it. So as you can see, they have a really nice consistent view here uh, where it sh shows you the premiums for each of the, the legs of an iron condor. <clears throat> and again, you have to really be familiar with the strategy that you're looking to implement and looking to um, search information on uh, just because it can get a little um, a, a little complex if you don't understand you know well which which um, which leg is related to you know the short versus the long call. Uh, or which part of the credit spread or debit spread am I looking to you know implement here so again you really need to be familiar with the terms before you can start implementing something like this this is not and what I try to tell people is this is not an easy button right there's a lot that goes into understanding the screeners um, to know what you're looking for and again 
my recommendation is to not use the default filters for the barchart.com screeners, right? They, they tend to be a little bit more aggressive uh, and they don't seem to be as risk adverse as some of my uh, watchers, especially myself, uh, you know, generally tend to be. So what I generally try to say is go into the, when you, when you, if you use one of the default screeners from bar chart, uh, go into the set filters tab and you'll start to see how they are measuring the the options that they're looking for in this type of strategy right so you'll see all the considerations that they have as far as you know is it in the money out of the money at the money uh, what's the volume of the open interest for each leg of the iron condor or the the strategy that you're looking at they also tend to have you know you have the option of choosing just stocks or you could just do index funds or etfs Right, so there's a lot of different options in, as far as it relates here. Here we're looking at days of expiration, anything that it's going to expire uh, between today and 60 days from now. So again, depending on your risk tolerance level, which I talk about a lot with my videos, right, because I don't like to make recommendations. I just like to give you the information you need in order for you to make the best decisions for yourself based on your risk tolerance level. So again, adjust these based on your risk level and then go back into the results. And what you'll have the ability to do is once you adjust the filters for yourself, you can go ahead and hit save screener uh, and give it a, a friendly name and it'll show up here in your, your screeners list. Uh, you can also do your own screener. So if you can go into options screener, it's gonna look very similar. Um, but what this is going to allow you to do is set up your own uh, screener itself. You can see I have a few set up already, right? Depending on the strategy or depending on what exactly I'm looking to start buying options for. Uh, and then again, you have the ability to set your filters uh, depending on what you're looking to do. Are you looking for it to be a long term? Now, this is something that's really nice, right? So, bar chart also allows you to filter based on the analyst signal level right so is it a buy sell or hold long term is it a buy sell or hold short term and again that's based on the underlying uh, stock for that option right so you can, as you can see there are a ton of different filters that you can that you can utilize and take advantage of uh, you can even obviously um, filter your screener based on the technical analysis so if you wanted to do it based on rsi if you wanted to do it based on uh, moving average right so whatever whatever technical analysis uh or technical charts you like to use bar chart makes it very easy for you to filter based on those uh that technical analysis and then again it also gives you the ability to filter based on the 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 greeks Right, so you have the option of coming under here and taking a look at the different options information and picking the Greek. That's not where it is. There it is. So based on the Greek, right, whatever uh, information you want, if you like to base it on Delta, right, if you like to have it be less than 30 or more than 70, depending on if you're doing a call or a put, um, if you like to base it on how much theta decay there's going to be, that's great too, right? So if you want a, a higher premium uh, for a credit spread that's going to pay you out a higher premium, uh, but again, maybe you increase your risk by doing that, uh, that allows you to you know, have that option as well. So again, a lot of different, uh, I don't, don't want to say options, right? Because that's what we're, we're looking at. We're looking at options. Uh, a lot of different uh, capabilities as it relates to trying to filter exactly what your, um, your comfort level is, what your risk tolerance is, uh, so you can find the results that you're looking for in the, the calls that you're looking for. So Again, I know this is kind of a short video, but I, I didn't want to go too deep. Um, I wanted to give you some of the um, more um, more valuable um, functionality that barchart.com offers their paid subscribers. Uh, the other thing that I will note is I've had screeners for other websites as well. I, I'm not going to mention them by name, um, but 
I've had a lot of problems in the past uh, where you know maybe an options contract wasn't available or wasn't showing in my filter results on the other websites. Uh, maybe there was a field that wasn't available, right? And when I would go to their help section, it wasn't very helpful. Um, I would even go in and maybe try to submit a, a you know a help ticket, right? And then it took you know, a couple days, if not a couple weeks for them to finally get back to me. By that time, it was too late, right? The, the options contract I was looking for had expired. So the one thing I can say about Bar Chart is that their support, right? It's just this blue button down here. It's so simplistic. You type in exactly what, you know, what the issue is or what you're looking for. And I have not had, I mean, I've submitted some pretty complex tickets and I have not once had an issue with them getting back to me within, you know, 48 hours. Uh, and I think that was kind of like the longest. Usually I get a response within the next, you know, two hours or so. Um, so I, I definitely highly recommend barchart.com. It's, uh, it's certainly one of the more favorable ones that, that I've seen. Um, so again, highly recommend it. It's about $200 a year, which again, if you're, if you're price comparison, uh, price comparing this to other um, other websites that offer option chains and give you all giving you all that data and also all of the the, uh, the fields that you want to filter on and specifically get down to the options that you're looking for I highly recommend barchart.com uh, again I really hope everybody enjoyed this video and it was kind of a short one um, but again this was based on a recommendation that I had from somebody that uh, has joined our discord group Please look in the description below this video to find out ways you can help support the channel. I provide a link, a referral link for my Robinhood account. I also give out my Venmo information as well as a few other Amazon links on books that I rec highly recommend. Um, also check out the description for ways that you can join my Discord group. We have some great people in there uh, looking to help you out and also maybe helping to uh, look to get educated as well from people that have more experience. So. Feel free to check that out. And again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share my channel out with your social media networks. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a great day.